I'm glad we got an early start this morning. There aren't many cars out on the streets yet at all. That's why I wanted to start this early. Cal. Huh? I sure want to thank you for asking me along on this trip. Yeah, I don't mention it. You ought to thank Henry. Too bad he had to stay, but Bill needed his help. Well, I did thank him. Until he was almost tired of hearing me say it. Just think. A sheriff's convention, and I'm going to it. Don't get too carried away, Jojo. You might be a little disappointed. The meetings might get pretty boring to you after a while. Oh, I doubt that. But even if they do, I'll have Central City to look at, since I've never been there before. Yep, there'll be enough there to keep you busy, all right. Oops, red light. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that uh, you obey traffic laws too, Sheriff. There's a little temptation to forget about them at this time of the morning. Not another car in sight. Yeah, looks like all of Naughty Pine is asleep. I think you spoke a little too soon on that one, Jojo. Look over there. Huh? Oh, a man. Uh, who would be out at this time of morning? Well, look a little closer. Oh, it's Dr. Springer. I guess doctors never sleep. Hey, he's coming this way. Good morning, Doc. Well, this is a rare pleasure indeed. Seeing wide awake human beings at this time of morning. Well, we really aren't very much awake. We're kind of surprised to see you, too. <laughs> Out taking care of trouble this morning? No, purely pleasure. How about you? Yeah, I wish I could say the same. Mrs. Cross decided she could do without her appendix last night, <laughs> so I had to help her out. Oh, help uh, her out or uh, it out? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all the way you look at it. Where are you fellas heading? Uh, fishing? Well, not exactly. They're having the annual sheriff's convention in Central City this week, and we're going up there to it. Mm -hmm. What are you going along for, Jojo? An example of a juvenile delinquent? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's mainly going along for the ride. And uh, to see what I can learn. Well, have a nice time, you two. You've got a long drive ahead of you, and... Oh, well, I can still catch a few more hours of sleep. Can we drop you somewhere, Doc? Thanks a lot, but no. I'm parked right over here. Have a good time. Right, we'll see Come you, on, Doc. Doc. Nice fella, Doc Springer. <laughs> uh, Cal. Huh? I, I don't know how to break this to you, uh... You being the sheriff of Naughty Pine and all, but... Uh, Why? What's on your mind? Well, you started up and went right through that red light back there. Beautiful scenery and the soothing vibration of the car. The early hour. <laughs> and the early hour. It's all making me so sleepy. Well, feel free to take a nap. It's a long trip. Oh, sure. That'd be real nice for you. <laughs> You're probably as sleepy as I am. Oh, here comes something that should keep you awake for at least another minute. Oh, sure. What's that? Well, you see these signs we're coming to? Oh, yeah. They're usually pretty good. Let's see. The story reads like an open book. Caveman loses caveman look. <laughs> hey, say, that's neat. You shave yet, Jojo? Once in a while. But you don't look much like a caveman when you don't, huh? <laughs> no, not much. Well, when you stop to think about it, I guess none of us do. Oh, I don't know. Did you ever watch the football coach at school? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I ought to think that's funny, but... Bruce Watson's a nice fellow. So were a lot of cavemen, I, I suppose. Yeah, maybe you're right. Boy. What's the trouble? I was just thinking. Those cavemen must have had a pretty rough time. How do you mean that? Well, you know, they didn't have anything like we do today, and, and they lived in awful circumstances. Oh, maybe you're looking at it the wrong way, Jojo. What do you mean? Well, the way I figure, they had the same problems we do. Well, maybe, but what about sickness and, and those big prehistoric animals? 
Well, the men may have lasted, but lots of them were killed by these things. Of course, you don't read of any cavemen being killed in auto accidents or being hurt falling downstairs today, do you? <laughs> no, no, I'm afraid not too many. Well, I see what you mean, though. I guess every age has its monsters and killers, even if they aren't the same ones. That's right. When we can't find enough other things to cut down the size of the population, we start wars. Yeah, that's more like cavemen than anything. Uh-huh. Hang on. Sharp curve coming up. Well, we must be getting into the mountains, but good, huh? Yep. It won't be long before we'll... Hey, look in the road. That tree has fallen. No time to stop. Hang on. I'll try to go around it. No, there's no room. Cal, we're going over. what I was going to ask you. Have I been out long? I don't know, but I don't think so. I think we just landed. <laughs> we better get out of this mess if we can. I think I'm free. Let's try it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh. Look out. Oh. Keep out of the way that falling glass. Yeah. Sharp. Oh. Oh. Got enough scratches. I'll get some more. There. Oh, I'm out. Oh, oh, oh. What's the matter? Oh, my arm. Boy, does it hurt. Here, let's let's take a look at it once. Oh, ee, oh, uh -huh. oh. Uh, Take it easy. Might be broken. You okay otherwise? Oh, far as I know. How about you? Uh, I guess I got a couple of cuts here and there, but nothing work, ma work with making much of a fuss over. Oh, boy, it's almost a miracle. Uh, sure seems like it. Judging how far we fell from up there. Yeah, I can't even see the top of the hill from here. Ooh, ooh, we must have come a long way. It sure didn't seem that far. I didn't think so either. Well, I guess we'd better start climbing out of this valley or pass or whatever it is we fell into. Yeah, it sure is a strange-looking place. Uh, tuck your arm inside your shirt like a sling and don't try to use it. Here, let me, let me help you a little bit. <coughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. What does that hurt? Yeah. There. Whoa, that is better. Cal, how do you figure we're going to get up out of here? Well, if you're going to buy the, where the car landed, we ought to be near the highway. You think so? Yeah, I guess you're right. So, we should climb as straight up from here as we can and then hope another car comes along. Yeah, if another car doesn't see that tree up there, we might just as well wait here for them. Yeah, I should have been watching closer. Uh, it wasn't your fault, Cal. That sharp turn completely hid the tree. Yes, but all the same, I oh, should Oh, maybe when we get up there, we can move the tree out of the way or something. Or at least set up some kind of warning. Oh, that's a good idea. I guess we better get started. Right. Say, isn't there a radio in the car? Maybe we could call for help. Ah, uh, look at that heap of metal. Radio's worthless now. Oh, uh, well, let's get moving. Uh, well, wait a minute. Huh? Huh? What's the matter? Uh, no telling what we'll meet on our hike. This looks like a good bear country. Well, do you have a gun or something? If I can find it in all this wreckage. There's a gun and a couple of boxes of shells in here. Yeah. Cal? Yeah, just a second, Jojo. I'll be right with you. Ah, ah, here it is. All intact. Now, what was it you wanted? Uh, look around here a minute. Uh-huh. So? Doesn't this valley look, uh, somehow strange? Of course it does. This is a good ways farther than Bill's district. You've never been this far north before. Uh, that's not what I mean, Cal. Look, for instance, at the, the trees and plants. Don't they look, well, bigger or something? Hmm. Now that you mention it, Jojo, they do. This must be good fertile land. Yeah, it, it all just seems so strange, that's all. 
The only thing that seems strange to me is why we aren't moving up the side of this hill toward the highway. Sure. Let's go. You found the gun all right? Yep, I got it right here. <laughs> What's so funny? I was just thinking. There we were talking about the hard life that the cavemen had, and the next minute we were having about the same sort of time ourselves. Yeah. Except um, we have it a little better than they did. Oh? Sure. We've got that gun. What do you make of this? I don't know, Cal. Well, it looks like an area of about 20 feet along the side of this slope has been torn off. All that's left is a few roots and a lot of loose, loose dirt. Well, the angle seems too steep to climb it. It looks as though it runs around the whole valley. Cal, do you suppose it's a road? It couldn't drive anything on a sideways angle like this. It looks like the ring some folks leave in a bathtub. What could have made it? You couldn't run a big moor along here. It's too steep. Yeah, besides, it looks like things have been pulled out rather than cut down. Yeah, it's strange, all right. Yeah, it runs as far as I can see. What do you think we ought to do, Cal? Well, if we had some rope and you didn't have that busted arm, the answer would be simple. But I guess we'll just have to walk along this dirt strip until the angle gets better and we can cross it or it stops. Yeah. I can see sort of an opening in the valley about a mile, I guess, in that direction. Maybe we'd better head for it. That's a good idea. Once we get above this ripped-out patch, we can come back this way along the top and still find the highway. Let's go. Some animal. I never heard an animal that sounded like that before. Well, neither did I. That doesn't mean there isn't one, does it? I g guess not. Now, settle down. I've got this gun and everything. Uh, there it is again. Yeah. You had better check to be sure this gun is loaded. Cal. Uh, huh? Well, I've been trying not to think what I've been thinking for the last few minutes. Well, that doesn't make a lot of sense, Jojo. What are you trying to say? Well, Cal, take a look here at the ridge where all the trees and bushes and stuff have been pulled out. I've been looking at it. That's why we can't climb any higher up. Nothing to grab onto up yeah, there. Yeah, I, I know that, but, but look at how the trees have been pulled out. What are you getting at? Oh, here, for instance. See in this hole? Big roots, like there must have been a pretty big tree here. It looks just like all the other holes we've seen. Yeah, right. But look around the edges of the hole. Don't these look like big, well, d d teeth marks? Hey, hold on, boy. Don't go getting hysterical on me. Well, I mean it. Look at them, Cal. Well, they could resemble teeth marks, but I wouldn't come right out and say that they are. Well, why not? Oh, lots of reasons. Never saw anything with a mouth so big it could bite off a tree. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Besides, what would eat off just a ridge along the side of a valley like this? Well, now, just supposing that this path... Some path. Well, okay, this wide strip of eaten-off area was uh, eaten by something like a prehistoric animal. No, maybe. no, whoa there, Jojo. Don't go getting any wise ideas. No, 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 wait a minute. Let's just uh, suppose that it was. Now, if his mouth was so big that it could bite off a tree, wouldn't his body have to be uh, pretty big, too? Bigger than anything I've ever seen. Yeah, right. Now, if he stood up, isn't it possible that his head would be about as high as this eaten-off strip is from the floor of the valley? Hmm. Yeah, that makes too good sense, Jojo. Yeah, I know. But we are living in prehistoric time. There aren't any of those big monsters left. They all died. It's impossible that there should be any of them. just don't know what to make of it. But I know one thing. What's that? If we don't find a way out of this place soon, 
And if that thing, whatever it is, doesn't stop making all that noise, I'm going to be scared enough to jump over this loose dirt and, for that matter, all the way out of this valley. Listen. Hmm? I don't hear anything. Yeah, that's exactly it. The birds, they've stopped. See, that is funny. Ah, the only time I know of when birds stop chirping is when they're frightened to death. Well, if that sound we heard a while ago didn't scare them, I don't know what would. Yeah, but they didn't stop then. I guess whatever made that sound wasn't close enough to them to do any harm. It sounded close enough, though. Yeah, but a valley like this can really make the sound fool you. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? I, I just thought of something. What? If they've stopped chirping now, that means that there is something close enough to do them harm. And if them, us too. Yeah, that's uh, what I mean. Let's hurry, little Jojo. We're almost out of this valley. All we have to do is make it around that next turn, and we should be able to find a place to climb up higher. As far as I'm concerned, the sooner the better. I don't know where that thing is, or for that matter, what it is, but I think I'll be just as happy not to meet it. Cal! I see it. I just don't believe it. Do you, do you think it's seen us? I can't tell for sure. It might have been just waiting around this corner for us and waiting until we get there so wow. it can catch us. Just look at the size of that thing. Yeah, it's just like you figured before. Must be a hundred feet long if he's an inch for sure. Goodness sake. Yeah, his eye is as big as a road mover's wheel. Gail, he's looking this way. Yeah, hurry up, get down, quick. What is it? I've never seen anything like that in my whole life, except in books. You know, he looks just like one of those prehistoric animals. Yeah, but 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 here? Now? Well, I thought things like that were... Yeah, I thought the same thing, Jojo. There he is. And we both have seen him. Huh. What? A lot of good this gun will do. If I shot him, he'd probably think he was mosquito bit or something like that. Yeah. He must have been the one that ate this strip around the valley. That's a pretty good trick, if you ask me. Good thinking. What do you mean? Uh, clear a 20 or 30 foot path of loose dirt around the wall of the valley so as anything that dropped in here couldn't get out. Maybe that's why he isn't bothering chasing us. He knows we can't get out of here anyhow. Jojo, we're trapped. You know, I don't hear the birds either. Mm, that's true. It's bad, too. Yeah, it looks like night is coming on, too. Yeah, my stomach told me we'd been here for a while. I'm hungry, too, but remember, imagine how hungry he must get. Well, I don't hanker to serve as a hot dog for him or any such thing. I'm going to look and see if he's still there. <laughs> he's still there. Did he see you? I can't say for sure, but he sure yelled at the right time. Oh, oh, what, what's that? Cat! Look, look, up there, flying above us. Another one. Looks like a big bird. Yeah, look at those jaws. Now I see something else, too, Jojo. What? Now, there is any question about whether or not he's seen us. Here he comes.
did you see that? That big fella picked that flying monster right out of the air. He sure wasn't long in breaking him in half, either. Yeah, and with his jaws. Whew. I feel weak all over. Uh, I know what you mean. Yeah, and it all happened so close. And that flying thing would have had us if it weren't for that other monster. I know. He sure saved us. Uh, maybe he saved us just for dessert. Uh, maybe. One good thing, though. Uh, what's that? He won't be as hungry now. <laughs> maybe he'll even go to sleep. Uh, that's a possibility, but... Uh, then, you know what? Right. Maybe we could sneak by him. Could be. Only I... Only what? We don't know in how many more those other fellows there are around the corner. good distance away. Did, did, did you see that mouth? I sure did. That's why I say keep quiet. What, why? It must have been 10 or 15 feet long. Uh, I figure he could hold both of us on his tongue and still have room for a small tree. Shh. If he wakes now and sees us, we've had it. I just can't figure it out, Cal. How could there be monsters like this? Oh, I don't know. I just don't understand. The time for meditate on that problem is later. Right now we've got to get... Uh, he's awake! He's looking around that corner to where we were. He's looking for us. Quick! We've got to hide! No place here to hide. Run for it, Jojo. Uh-oh, okay, Cap! He spotted us! Run, Jojo. It'll be all right. I am running. We can't outrun that thing. Keep running, Jojo. Everything will be all right. He's almost got us. Everything is all right, Jojo. He's almost got us. Everything is all right, Jojo. Take it easy, boy. Cal, we're finished. He's got us. Jojo, it's all right. Steady, boy. Huh? 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 What? Cal. I think he's coming out of it. Uh, he must have been having a dream or something. Oh, probably due to shock. Well, Jojo. Huh? Huh? Oh, Dr. Springer. What are you doing here? Take it easy, Jojo. Oh, where am I? Oh, did he get us? I don't know what you were dreaming, Jojo, but everything's okay now. Oh. Dream? You mean it was a, a dream? Oh, oh, my arm. Oh, oh. looks like you broke it in the accident, Jojo, that's all. You were both uh, pretty fortunate. Yeah, yeah, but, 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 Doc, it was broken in the dream, too. That must have been some dream. Oh, I'll say. It was so strange. All about prehistoric monsters and birds. And... <laughs> must have been the cavemen. Uh, what's that? Uh, just before the accident, we were talking about cavemen while we were riding in the car. Must have played on Jojo's mind. Oh, well, that's possible. You all right now, Jojo? Oh, I guess so. A little weak. How did I get here? Well, after that tree stopped us. Oh, what tree? <laughs> that must be where you left us. Yeah, I guess so. Anyhow, when we hit that tree, we both fell against the front of the dashboard. I went out, too. 
When I woke up, I used the radio and called for an ambulance. And they brought you right back here. So, I guess you didn't get much sleep after all, hey, Doc? Oh, oh, that's all right, Jojo. As long as you two pull through, okay. You know, if my dream had come true, we probably never would have been heard from again. Huh. Funny, though. What's that? It all seemed so real. And yet I kept wondering how it could really be happening. Well... Dreams are like that sometimes. Oh, say, I almost forgot. Bill stopped by a while ago to see how you were, and uh, he said he'd be back as soon as he could, but he left uh, this for you. Said you might be interested in it. Oh, what is it? Mm, look, looks like a book. He thought it might take your mind off having to lie here in the hospital... Here. <laughs> What's so funny, oh, Jojo? No. <laughs> Look at the title of this book. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I guess I'd better take a look, too. Um, what is it? <laughs> Here, Doc. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> Monsters of the Past. A study of the prehistoric beasts that once prowled the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever have a bad dream, boys and girls? Maybe you were as happy as I was to wake up. Well, we'll see you next week for more Awake Adventures with... Ranger Bill was produced in the radio studios of the Moody Bible Institute in Chicago.